honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land that the Lord your God has given you. Ye ave lota mama lotina in e fa le vele vai o waso ile no u wa full full in my e le tua loli yate oi. Parents, um, I am such a huge advocate of caring and cherishing our parents. My encouragement is always this, that we only ever get one set of parents. And, you know, once they're gone, you never get another set. Um, you may get another one. You know, you may have heaps of other aunties and uncles that you consider parent figures, but you'll never, ever have another set of parents like the ones who gave birth to you, or like the ones who have raised you uh, from when you were a child, um, who will love you wholeheartedly like your own parents. Uh, my dad is 62 this year. And six years ago, we, um, mum and dad set us girls down and they told us that they wanted to, um, they wanted, their, their dream was to build a house for us girls. Six years ago, I was only 22. So like free, I was only about 19 and Linda was only 14. And um, mum and dad sat us down and they told us what their dream was. And this was uh, to build a, a, a home, a new home for us girls to grow up in and call our own. But ole you were yele mea, you know, mautu in unofoi mato, mato girls. Um, in our families, only, there is only three of us girls. I am the oldest, uh, followed by Nancy, and then the youngest or the wee is Linda. Now, six years um over the period of six years we've encountered some some trials and um oh gosh some tough times along the way and but uh, the goal uh, um the goal and keeping in mind what mum and dad wanted was was the drive that was enough of a drive for for me and for my sisters to keep pursuing the stream that mum and dad had um, but again, the reason for that was because, you know, at the back of mind, you, you, you know, we We only have one set of parents. You know, and was so You know, no more. But all my So, in the six years, um, it has been tough, but we were driven because of the love that we have for our parents and. Um, you know, I can honestly say that, you know, for us girls, we're extremely blessed to have our parents, um, the, you know, these parents that God has blessed us with. And I have no doubt that a whole lot of other you kids, um, you younger lot, um, our, our, our youth and also our um, young adults, you know, you guys still have your parents around. Some of you still have both parents Um and you're fortunate to still and blessed to still have uh, both set of parents. For others, I know some of my close friends who have lost at least one parent and it ha has been heartbreaking, um, you know, to, to see them lose a parent. Um, and so I, my, my encouragement for our youth, for our children, uh, for our young adults, that if you've got your parents around now to this day, cherish them, you know, sit down, get to under, uh, get to understand their hearts, get to know them, talk to them, um, ask them what their goals are. And I strongly encourage you to use this time wisely to help your parents achieve the goals and the dreams that they have for you um that's all for me today short and sweet but you know if, if your parents are still around use this time use this time um you know if i lolo lo and i speak from experience but if i lolo lo lo, you know you the like you still have you can still commit and dedicate your time to looking after your parents but unfortunately you know your time is now divided um having to you know look after your own family um but then also you've you, you'd be you've got two set of parents and two lots of families that you got to look after so if you're single for us for our kids for our children our youth and our young adults um 
use this time to look after your parents sit down just talk with them i know in a brown kids world you know um it is hard to have some of these conversations with our parents you know it, you try and talk with them and you know like you're just asking questions to understand and they have a go at you um but i encourage you you know you um you, you you know you you make the step you make the step of um just whether it's talking you know when your mom get or dad gets home from work just asking them hey how was your day even if they bark at you that's okay um that's only day one and you keep doing that for the next days and the next weeks and the next months to come to build on that relationship with your parents and get to know them more look after your parents um, love them um, cherish them and honor them and God will bless you with and give you more years um, and more days of your life to live God bless you and we love you with the love of the Lord amen